We're focusing on uh, redeeming ourselves from the opening game we had last year. So is that is the Virginia game been brought up quite a bit, or, or is that? I mean, I've heard several references to that game. How much of an influence is that in preparing for this season opener? I guess it just makes you prepare the fact that we did lose last year. I mean, we think nothing of Virginia. And I don't think our one coach has been brought up, but the players that were there, that was such a bad start and um, not the way we want to start off the season. And so we're making sure that that doesn't happen again by I know our preparation now. You guys are leaving on Wednesday instead of mm -hmm. for two days before. How is that resonating with the team? Are you guys happy to do that? Yeah, we're excited about that. It seems pretty cool. Like our bird coach and I are saying, it's a, pl it's a time to uh, go over to that part of the country, which I'm, I've never been there, uh, to Connecticut. I'm, I would say almost all the teams have ever been there. So it's a time to maybe get used to the weather, if it's more humid over there. Um, it's, a, it's a time to, so that first day, you can kind of check things out. And then all of Thursday, you'll have um, time to check things out. And, and then on Friday, you're ready to play. Because a lot of times what happens is, you go to a place the day before, and it's almost like you feel like it's a vacation. You're, you're, you feel like you're in a new part of the country, and you're going to see sites, you're going to see places, but you forget you had football. So it's a we as players were um, we're excited to go over there and to get that out of the way, so that on Friday um, we can focus on the game. There's so many unknowns when you're dealing with the first game on, you know, for both teams. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest hurdle to overcome in a season opener? Just starting fast. Um, you never want to lose the first game and let that be your motivator to finish the season because now getting to the tournament, getting to the game we want to be in and, and being a top four team in the country, to start like that, um, it could kill you, you know, your hopes the rest of the season. So that's not what we want to be our motivator. We want to start fast and uh, you know, play smash mouth football from the beginning and then uh, go deep over the top. So. With, them ha with them having a, a new, new head coach and whatnot, have you been paying attention defensively to what Notre Dame did? Is mm -hmm. that kind of what you've been basing yeah, off the defense? Absolutely. Um, we've been doing a little bit of both. Uh, a lot of Notre Dame schemes, how they play, a lot of man, a lot of two man. Um, knowing that they're going to do that, it helps us prepare and practice. And so on, from the scout team, we see a lot of that. But more importantly, you want to look at the actual players. Both their corners, number six and 16, are both returning. And they're both good players. And so you got to look at Connecticut also and actually how those two specific guys actually play the game. Compare your readiness level this year to last year with this Go hard, go fast. Um, I think just the level of uncertainty of how our offense is going to work is out, of the, is out of the window. I mean, I think we had nine returning starters on offense, so at least from an offensive standpoint, we know how it's going to go. We know exactly what we're going to do. We know exactly what's going to work. Um, we've seen this type of defense before. So it's, it's the knowledge that we already know we're going to go in and do to them um, before when we played Virginia was, you know, is this offense really going to work? Is this really going to wear teams down? Is it, we, weren't, we weren't sure, but now we're sure. What's the key to controlling the emotion, not you know, not getting carried away in the in, with the adrenaline and you know the actually being on the field? Yeah, I hope uh, everyone has their own style of doing things. Um, I mean, for me, I, I listen to slower music, and that helps me you know curb my adrenaline because you don't want to. If you're playing a football game, you know, on national TV, you're gonna be pumped up anyway. So you got to find that that peace and that knowledge that you know you should be practicing like you want to play. So when you're out in the game, you should think about how you practice. And when you're at practice, you're more calm, you're more thinking, and you don't want to have more missed assignments in the game. And that just comes from the jitter. So it comes down to a personal level and from the coaches to get you calm before the game. And just remember, we've done this for how many days, 30 days in, in fall camp, that um, it's nothing new that just because we're in a different place. As far as traveling 22,000 miles this season, what kind of impact do you think that have, especially later in the season? Um, you know, some, I guess the myth is the farther you travel, the harder it is to win, but we want to be able to break that this year. And, you know, we have accepted the fact that we are independent um, and we love it and we love traveling different places. Uh, I got to go back to my mission in Orlando. That's going to be great. Some people go, going to go back to their missions in Connecticut and they're going to love that. But we got to remember that we're going there to play games and break that myth that the farther we travel, the harder it is to win. And so when we go to UCF, when we go to Connecticut, we need to make sure we play our best football. How much film and how much of you kind have you actually dug into? Um, we have got, I mean, a lot of Notre Dame and a lot of UConn, just like UConn, at least for the receivers, we're watching those two specific guys because they're, the, they're the starters. And, and then we watch a lot of Notre Dame film because obviously they, they're D coordinators, not a head coach. And so every, every single day this week, we've been watching it and studying up what they do.